Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really noticed what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more, even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through I got issues in my head, I like you in my bed But you keep me on red, oh Everything is like a test, I better not text Or I'll come off desperate What if I lay down and I What's up, YouTubers? This is Mike for Drones R Eagles. Down here in Kenya doing interviews again, and look who I, I ran into. Yeah, what's your name? Danielle. Say hi to Danielle. <laughs> Comments, anybody? Danielle, what brings you to Kedneton? I've been out here about three years. Um, I'm just gonna, at this point, it's just getting high. I'd rather be, <clears throat> I'd rather be miserable high than miserable sober. Which is choices drugs? Um, heroin and coke. And how long have you been in the streets of Kensington? I've been out here for about three years now. And where are you from? Uh, originally Montgomery County, like outside of Pottstown. And how did you find these streets? How did you find these streets? Honestly, the first time I ever heard about Kensington was in rehab. And just like from, yeah, just from people talking. You have any kids? Yeah. No kids. How about family? Um, just me and my mom. Mom, does mm -hmm. she support you or? She, yeah, it's weird. We actually get along better when we're not living together. Um, she's a great person. We just don't click when we're living in this, under the same roof. Okay, so where are you staying now? Right now, um, well, for a while I was doing okay. I had a roof over my head for most of the winter time, um, but now I'm back on the streets. Yeah, you know they got a lot of plenty of shelter. A lot of people don't like to stay there though, why is that? Yeah, just people steal and it's just there's a long list and a lot of bullshit that comes with it from what I hear, so. How about the housing? They promise you housing, what, what happened to that? Um, I'm not really sure what goes on with that or how that works. I've always wanted to look into that just to see how that would go. Um, I would love that for me, but I don't know the details of it too, too much. So what are your plans? What do you see yourself in like five years? <sighs> In five years, either I think this area is gonna chew me up and spit me out and I'll be dead, or I'll be helping people that are in my shoes. So what do you have to say about that train that's really not getting you high? It knocks you out and when you wake up, you're sick again. Like, what, don't you think that's a waste of time? I mean, it's exhausting, but at the same time, it's like a false sense of being productive because you're chasing something all the time. So you're doing that instead of having your own thoughts like crowd your brain. Is it something like crack? Like you're always chasing that high? Kinda, yeah. Like you have, like I mean, well, one, you get sick without it, and two, like you're busy trying to figure out how to get money to get it. You know. Well, and speaking about that, how do you how do you make your money? Um. Right now, honestly, I uh, work on the app, <laughs> and I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna be honest about it. There's nothing to be ashamed about it, you know? You have an addiction, it's called it a disease. Yeah. And you do what you gotta do, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You're not the only one. Right. You know what I mean? But you're not gonna be out here forever. Hopefully you get some help. Mm -hmm. And you know, because the street is gonna kill you, eventually you will. Because every year the drugs out here gets worse and worse and worse. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so you have to get help, get off the streets. Mm -hmm. You know, and once and now it's more dangerous. Once you get the help, you know not to relapse because you know what's out here. Right. So, if you were like the mayor of Philadelphia for, for one year, what would you do to change the streets of Kensington? Um. Honestly. 
That's something I'd really have to like sit I, down I and. That's like something I'd really have to sit down and think about. I don't know what would change. There would have to be a lot of steps taken. That's for sure. It's not something that would happen just overnight. It's not something that can happen in the blink of an eye. Um, I think there just needs to be more of an understanding of addiction um, from everyone to be able to move forward. What's the craziest thing you see in the streets? The craziest? <laughs> and I know there's a lot of them. Try to think one or two maybe. Oh, God. Someone uh, just told me that they saw a woman get raped out in the streets. Like, raped in the middle of the street. Oh, yeah. Um, honestly, I'm more scared of the kids than I am the adults. If I really? see the kids on the streets, I will literally cross the street because they, they're they reckless. Like, I will be walking down the street minding my business and get punched in the face for no reason and they're kids, what am I gonna, like, you know what I mean? Like, they either have family that's gonna back them up or you're gonna get in trouble because they're kids. Like, you can't, like, how, there's really only so much you can do. You see what happened to Bree at the park, right? Yes, and that. You, you know, what do you know about that? I think um, I don't know Bree. I've seen her in passing, like, many, 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 many times. I think it's, it's heartbreaking. It is. I don't know the, like the full like backstory of it, but whatever, like, it doesn't matter. Nobody deserves that. Nobody deserves to be, have that happen to them, have it put on the inter internet for everyone to see. Like that's something that like is gonna stick with her for life. And I don't think not, I don't think everybody understands that like, it's not like, it's not just, t like it's not just YouTube TV. Like that's her life right there. And yeah. You're right. Um if you had one wish, what would it be? If I had one wish, what would one, it be? Um, I wish that I could. Mm, I don't. I don't know. That's a, <laughs> that's a tough. Uh, that's a tough one. Right yeah. now, I wish that uh, I had my teeth back. <laughs> that's, uh, that's probably. That's yeah. probably uh, yeah. right now my biggest thing. I'm working on that too. Completely right. changed in the past six months. So. Right, right. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, can you give a message if somebody's out there watching mm -hmm. that is an ex addict or is an addict and they're thinking about relapsing? What, what information do you give them about the streets? Like about relapsing the drugs they have now? God. Um. I would say to anyone that was around me when I was sober, keep it up. You guys, I'm very proud of you. You're not missing anything out here. So the rehabs that I've been to, you've helped me a lot. Um, just because I'm out here doesn't mean I didn't learn anything. I think about you guys a lot. And you know, the things that I've been taught over the years, you know, that sticks with me. And um, has kind of molded me to the person, like some of the values I have today. So. Okay, okay, that's good. Um, Anything else you want to say? You know, I got people that send something. And you're in need of anything? <laughs> I'm in need of clothes. <laughs> Very Everybody badly. Everybody clothes, socks. Uh, hygiene products. Definitely long socks. Um, specifically, just because I've had I have some wounds going on. Right. Right now, I need to keep my uh, legs covered. So. Yeah, I'm about to some medical supplies for that yeah, but uh okay. anyway but thank you for spending your time mm -hmm. and everybody Absolutely. else you heard her you can donate you can find my email so thank you for watching until next time this is mike for drones are eagles peace everybody i feel nauseous believe me never had a lot of sh come easy had to work hard struggle just to be me had to rise up just so they could see me did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down But if I lay down and I play dead And I stay dead Maybe you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my nightmares Standing right there But if I lay down and I play dead And I stay dead Then will you get bored of killing me? Silhouettes of you
you are like a taunt Never really notice what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed